Hi, it's Michael from Culture Talk and Tours, and I'm here today in Taipei City, Taiwan, for the National Day of Saudi Arabia. It's September 23rd. We're here at the Mayful Hotel, and we've just checked in. Let's go have a look. So we are inside the ballroom. We've just said hi to the representative and the deputy representative. And here they're welcoming us with some Saudi coffee and some dates. And this over here, if you remember when we went for the World Arabic Day at the Taiwan National Library in Taipei, they had a whole palm tree made out of dates. Now we've got different dates here. So. 
this one is a more sweet. This is the more sweet. We call it Okay. Oh, this is the very sweet one. These are the ones I love. And you can see the, it's almost like caramelized, the sugar on it. And then we have these two other ones. Wonderful. Thank you, gentlemen. Let me try my day. I love it. Let's listen together to the melodies of the southern Saudi Hatwa 
harmonize beautifully with the song Allah Ya Surah Ya Muhammad. 在喜庆的氛围中，我们欣然为大家呈现一场受到沙特阿拉伯纯正文化遗产所启发的特别艺术表演，请大家一同欣赏。沙地南方步伐的旋律与真主保佑穆罕默德之歌完美交织的音乐作品。Please enjoy the performance presented by artists Middle Eastern Culture Art Association。请欣赏由林宛如中东文化艺术团所带来的精彩演出。
اصحاب السعاده السفراء رؤساء بعثات والمكاتب التجاريه والتمثيليه في الدول الشقيقه والصديقه. اصحاب السعاده في اعضاء المجلس التشريعي، قادتي والمدراء وممثلي الشركات والمؤسسات والاتحادات التايوانيه المحترمه حضور الكرام اصدقاء المملكه العربيه السعوديه السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته. رجع حافظ. هذه المناسبة السعيدة بمناسبة مناسبة الذكرى الرابعة والتسعين لتوحيد المملكة العربية السعودية. وانتهز هذه الفرصة لاقدم اصالة عن نفسي ونيابة عن زملائي في المكتب التجاري العربي السعودي التهاني والتبريكات لمقام مولاي خادم الحرمين الشريفين وسيدي صاحب السمو الملكي الامير محمد بن سلمان بن عبد العزيز ال سعود ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء. حفظهم الله ولكافه الشعب السعودي الكريم في هذه المناسبه الغاليه على قلوبنا جميعا. سيدات والساده الحضور ان حضوركم ومشاركتكم في احتفالنا بهذه المناسبه محل تقدير واعتزاز ففي هذه المناسبه السنويه تتجدد مشاعرنا بالفخر والاعتزاز بتوحيد الملك المؤسس طيب الله ثراء عبد العزيز بن عبد الرحمن ال سعود المملكة العربية السعودية قبل 94 عاما. حضور الكرام لا تزال مملكتنا تعيش اليوم مواقع تحقيق الاحلام والرؤية الطموحة والمتابعة المستمرة من القيادة الحكيمة وتسكين الامكانيات والمقدرات وتفاعل الكوادر الوطنية صارع في تحقيق المستهدفات قبل مواعيد انجازها المحددة. تعيش المملكة اليوم عهد الاستدامة والنمو والتطور ونشهد قفزات كبيره وغير مسبوقه في جميع المجالات داخليا وخارجيا. كما ان تعالي المكانه السياسيه والاقتصاديه والثقافيه تتعزز وتترسخ ويتعارض دور المملكه المؤثر في الاقتصاد العالمي كونها قائمه على قاعده اقتصاديه صناعيه صلبه جعلتها منها اقوى 20 اقتصادا على مستوى العالم. حضور الكرام أبدت الرياض وتيبيه جسراً راسخاً للعلاقات والتواصل قائم على التعاون المتبادل فيما يخدم المصالح الاقتصادية والثقافية المشاركة بين الشعبين الصديقين تعززت هذا الجسر بتوقيع العديد من الاتفاقيات بما فيها اتفاقية منع الازدواج الضريبي عام 2020 لتكون المملكة هي أول دولة توقع مثل هذه الاتفاقية مع تايوان في الشرق الأوسط وشمال أفريقيا كما تم إتاحة تأشيرات الزيارة الإلكترونية والتأشير عند الوصول للمملكة لحملة الجواز التايواني، إضافة إلى كون المملكة أهم وأكبر مصدر للطاقة بالنسبة لتايوان، والشريك التجاري الأول لها على مستوى الشرق الأوسط وأفريقيا، والشريك التجاري الرابع لتايوان خارج منطقة الأبيك، بقيمة تبادل بلغت 10.14 مليار دولار في عام 2023. كما شهدنا خلال الاعوام الاخيره شراكات وتبادلات اقتصاديه وثقافيه نوعيه متميزه. ونعمل في المكتب التجاري السعودي باستمرار معا مع المسؤولين في الجهات ذات العلاقه في الرياض وتايبيه لتعزيز الفرص الثقافيه والتجاريه والاستثماريه والسياحيه. مستفيدين من روح التعاون والتفاهم المشترك ونقاط القوه والمزايا الاستثنائيه المتوفره لدي كلا الجانبين. وفي الختام اقدم شكري لوزاره الخارجيه التايوانيه وكافه الوزارات والجهات الحكوميه وغير الحكوميه ذات العلاقه على على التعاون المستمر لتعزيز ما يخدم المصالح المشتركه للشعبين الصديقين. واخيرا اود ان اشكر جميع الحضور والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته. شيشي تاجا. Now, please join us in welcoming His Excellency Ambassador Francois Zhongfu, the Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs in Taiwan, to share his remarks with us.
the Honorable Adel Fahad Artaidi, representative of the Saudi Arabian Trade Office. Her Excellency Andrea Carver Bowman, ambassador of St. Vincent and the Grenadine, and the Dean of the Diplomatic Corps. Excellency Ambassador and the Honorable Representative, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening, it is a great honor to join you to, join you to celebrate the 94th National Day of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. On behalf of the people and the government of our sea Taiwan, I would like to extend our heartfelt congratulations to Saudi Arabia on this auspicious occasion. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia stands as a symbol of tradition, culture, and the prosperity in the region. Today, we mark the founding of a nation that has played a pivotal role in the Middle East and uh, has made significant global contributions, especially in terms of energy, trade, and uh, technology. As the kingdom moves toward further modernization and transformation, the leadership shown in Vision 2030 is commendable. We admire your progress in diversifying the economy, upgrading infrastructure, and fostering innovation. All of this promise a bright and prosperous future for the people of Saudi Arabia. Over the years, Taiwan and uh, Saudi Arabia have enjoyed warm and uh, mutually beneficial relations. Saudi Arabia is Taiwan's 15th largest trade partner overall and the largest in the Middle East. Last year, bilateral trade reached 10.40 million US dollars. Saudi Arabia has always been a reliable energy supplier accounting for over one third of Taiwan's crude, crude oil import. Our partnership has ensured the stability of Taiwan's energy supply, enabling our industries to grow and prosper. Our countries cooperate across various sectors, including trade, investment, technology, tourism, education, in the agriculture. Taiwan values each strong ties with Saudi Arabia, and we remain committed to deepening the connection in the years to come. As both Saudi, Ara as both Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 and the Taiwan's Street Transformation Strategy aim at sustainable development and innovation driven growth, we see immense potential for expanded cooperation, especially in high-tech, renewable energy and the, small, and the smart cities. The 2024 Taiwan Trade Mission to the Middle East, organized by the Ministry of Economic Affairs and the Taiwan National Trade Development Council, including a Taiwan Month activity in Saudi Arabia this year, this past May, to promote Taiwan's leading industry, including healthcare, food and beverage, communications and the machinery. In, a, in addition to economic ties, the Taiwan delegation to the annual larger peer premier to Mecca was successful thanks to the support of the Saudi Arabia Trade Office. It also highlighted Taiwan's commitment to cultural and uh, religious diversity. As we look to the future, our shared commitment to peace, prosperity, and a mutual respect will help us yield an ever stronger relationship. On this special occasion, I again congratulate the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its people. May your nation continue to thrive and may friendship between Taiwan and the Saudi Arabia deepen and prosper. I wish everyone 
a wonderful evening. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, we would like to invite Your Excellency and His Excellency, Mr. Adel, to cut the cake in celebration of this significant occasion. Thank you, Wu Cixiang. Next, we will invite Wu Cixiang and Wu Cixiang to cut the cake in celebration of this significant occasion.
it's Michael and I'm here with the representative for Saudi Arabia to Taiwan, Mr. Adele. Wonderful to see you. We've had a wonderful night. We loved all of your performances. The food was wonderful. There's these great big video screens so you get to see all different parts of Saudi Arabia. And I know you were very busy greeting your guests so you didn't have a lot of time to see what was going on but everyone was enjoying themselves. Good to hear. Thank you so much. And we're just closing up now, and I know you're busy taking photos with uh, friends and family. Thank you so much for including us, and congratulations. And this is for 94, 94. years. 94 years. Yes. National Day of the Kingdom Correct. of Saudi Arabia. Correct. Um, well, thank you, Michael. Thank you very much for coming today and celebrating with us our National Day. This is uh, the 94th National Day of Saudi Arabia. This is actually the unification. This uh, embarked actually uh, the, the day that King Abdulaziz, the founder of the current Saudi uh, state, uh, 94 years ago. Okay. Uh, we, this, uh, before that, it was Najd and Al Hijaz. Right. And at that day, reunification. Uh, at that date, and then it. It was declared by a decree, a royal decree by the King, uh, King Abdulaziz bin Saud. Uh, and since then, we've been celebrating the 23rd each September of every year, uh, along with our friends and uh, around the world. And uh, tonight, it was a nice evening uh, to see our uh, king, uh, friends and uh, our uh, colleagues and uh, our uh, the Saudi Arabia friends uh, from uh, Taipei and uh, from other cities also here. In this beautiful island, uh, I think uh, it, it was uh, also a reminding uh, that we have a very good uh, relationship with the people of uh, Taiwan who uh, appreciate uh, Saudi Arabia and uh, their uh, friends also in Saudi Arabia. And this is a good uh, also uh, uh, moment also to celebrate uh, the trade uh, that we have, the cultural uh, exchange that we have between Saudi Arabia and Taiwan. Yes, it was a wonderful evening. So they're closing up. You can hear they're taking things apart. Thank you so much. Always wonderful to see you, sir. It's a wonderful. It's Thank a pleasure you. to have you. It was a Thank wonderful evening. And we will see you on the next episode.